Hello there, subscribers, people out there. Um, this is P Juice. I know I don't sound the same, but stuff happens, you know. Last commentary I made was at uh, Free For All and Crash, and I, I am the commentary specialist, so yeah, and uh, no longer a squeaker, no longer sound like I'm six years old, so. It's going to help me when I make videos now, because I won't get all those hate comments saying you sound like you're four. Which was true, but I mean, you didn't have to rub it in, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, uh, today, I got a game with the semi-auto, the M21, on BOG, Hardcore HQ, 97 and 23, I believe. And, uh, if you, if you don't hard scope with this gun, then you're a noob, because it's made to hard scope. You can't quick scope with it. It's, it's very challenging to quick scope with, so. I hard scope with it. Don't, don't post comments saying, noob, you hard scope me, you noob. No. Shut up. Okay, you, you're supposed to hard scope with that gun. Nonetheless, the gameplay, 4.0, KDR, something like that, I don't know. Well, just enjoy. I'm not really going to be talking about the gameplay. I'm going to be mainly talking about Black Ops and stuff. And uh, whatnot, so. Uh, when I'm making this commentary, it is Wednesday, uh, November 3rd. Yeah, November 3rd. I don't know when it's going to be uploaded, but... I'm just going to make some little Black Ops talking. Some Black Ops talk. <laughs> uh, before the game comes out, because I really haven't posted anything for a while, so... <laughs> oh, sorry about that, I'm really tired. Um, uh, well, uh, Josh Olin, the community manager, really, really, I'll credit him. He did a good job listening to the community, listening to what people want to say or what people, what people want. And I'm simply going to go over some of the good features in Black Ops that I like, um, and, uh, the features that I dislike. So feel free in your comments if you agree with me or disagree with me. Just post your opinions. Please uh, like this video. If you really love me that much, favorite it. And uh, yeah, so spread the word. You know, do everything. Subscribe. And I'll start talking now. I should just shut up now. I'm not really a commentator. Uh, commentator. Um, I mainly do make montages. And uh, maybe some gameplays where I get good scores. Or a nice clip I get, I'll upload that. But I have been thinking about doing commentaries in Black Ops, so... Leave your opinion on what I should improve on. What should I talk about in my commentaries. It's all gonna help me in future videos, so... Let me start talking about Black Ops now, so... Um, in Black Ops, the features I like are the spawn noob tubes. Uh, the spawn noob tubes have been removed. You know in Karachi, in uh, Grand War, when you spawned... Uh, on the side where the back lot building is you could just shoot a noob tube across the map and get like 10 people um now in black ops they've made it so there's a 15 second uh delay before your noob tubes activated after the game starts so you can't just pull out your noob tube and shoot it right away you know you have to wait which is really helpful i like that i in my opinion i hated spawn noob tubes they were just cheap and shit i know people love them to get quick kill streaks but in my opinion they were pretty cheap so um uh another feature in black ops that i agree with and they took this totally from the community everything i'm talking about i'm pretty sure is from the community is uh no kill streak stacking which basically means that in a modern warfare 2 if you got a chopper gun and you basically had a nuke but in black ops your kill streaks don't stack which means that the amount of kills you get in the chopper gunner do not count towards your next kill streak. Which will reduce camping a shitload because most people sit in corners just to get their kill streaks. So uh, Treyarch did something smart for once and actually removed kill streak, uh, kill streak stacking. So uh, now no more camping hopefully or at least a little less. You can't completely remove the camping issue unless... I don't know, there's nothing you can really do that's fair to remove the camping issue. You have fags out there who refuse to not camp. Some people who play this game are retarded. Retarded's an offensive word, I'm sorry. People who play this game are dumb, yeah. My school had like this assembly where we shouldn't call people retarded and gay. 
because it offends those people. So I I've been trying to actually be a good guy and stop saying those words. <laughs> so uh, yeah, but uh, no more kill streak stacking. That that's another great feature. Um, I know I'm not that enthusiastic in my commentaries. I will be in the future. It's just that I'm super ass tired. And I'm bored, so, uh, you know, give me your opinion, what you think, you know, whatever you want, so, moving on, uh, you got your, <clears throat> uh, zombies, zombies make a return, zombies is just, like, a backbone to Treyarch games, like, if you get pissed at the multiplayer, just hop on zombies, I mean, you can't rage at a computer, uh, Zombies are basically just computer controlled bots that are basically just supposed to be sent at you in waves. There's nothing. You can't rage like, oh, that zombie came out of nowhere. That zombie's camping. You can't say that shit. So, you know. It, I would just hop on zombies if I get pissed in multiplayer or if a lot of my friends from school are online or something. Uh, and, you know, just hop on, play some zombies with people. It's pretty fun. And, uh, zombies, I believe there are three maps. Kinder Untenan, uh, Pentagon, and there's one more map. In, uh, Kinder Untenan, it's basically another Untenan map. And all three of the maps the game comes with include, like, electricity turning on. You need to turn on the power. They're all very in-depth maps. And, you know, I would really wouldn't mind it if they just made one more simple map, like Nocter Untenan. Uh, I really did like that map. It was nice and simple. There was only like a couple rooms you can go into. And uh, it was really fun. So maybe maybe in a future uh, multiplayer map pack. I really wouldn't mind uh, a simple map for zombies. And uh, so uh, in zombies, I believe there's a return of your four World War II people in Kinder Untenan. You got that Japanese guy like Tokai. He's like... My power, you you know, Japanese people or something. Then you got the Russian dude who only talks about vodka and shit. You got the American who just feels like cursing. And you got the German, the freaking Nazi, who I, I don't trust. But nonetheless, those those four guys make a return in Kinder Untenan. And they have, like, new phrases uh, and all that shit. So it, it looks pretty cool. I'm I'm going to play it. Uh, like right when the game comes out, I'm not. It's not gonna be something I'm holding off. Um, uh, in the map Pentagon, you actually plays John F. Kennedy and his executives. <laughs> it's pretty weird because John F. Kennedy speaks like he, he like doesn't curse, and I don't know. It's just weird. I saw some videos, and if you really want to see the links to these videos, just message me. I'll give you the links. Uh, but you should just search uh, zombie. Black Ops, Zombie, Pentagon gameplay, and you'll find something. Oh, man. Uh, not much. The uh, Treyarchs really kept their mouth quiet about zombie mode. They've really, really opened up about multiplayer. Like, everybody knows about multiplayer. Wager matches. Everybody knows that. But they have really done a good job keeping their mouth closed about zombies. There have been a lot of videos on YouTube, though, of the zombies. But, uh... Um... Treyarch really hasn't said any features, like, there's definitely something new about the zombies that everybody's gonna love. Maybe, uh, the zombie missions, nobody really knows right now. But, uh, they've done a pretty good job. And, uh, I'm sorry, I'm super tired, huh? And, uh, so, just wait for the game to come out, see what happens. Uh, last thing I'm gonna talk about before I talk about my dislikes are, uh, uh, what is it? Campaign story mode. The story mode is actually looking really, really fun and realistic. Um, I don't know what it was with Modern Warfare 2, but I know, like, people frown upon cursing in video games. Like, my, my parents don't like it, I'll be honest with you. But, I mean, if you're playing a freaking Modern Warfare game and there's absolutely no cursing in it, you don't really feel like you're in the game. I mean, everybody, like, if, like, a freaking grenade uh, go goes off and, like, if you were in the army, like, some dude's gonna yell the F-bomb. I don't want to curse right now, my parents are, like, right there, but 
and they're gonna say crap and you know shit and stuff and so, yeah it's not gonna be like oh crap oh no no it, it, they're gonna curse also uh in black ops i mean your game's already rated m put cursing in it put exploding limbs in it put all that stuff that makes it look realistic um in world at war when a grenade was thrown at somebody their freaking leg would fly off and that i love that that just made me feel good when i shot somebody with the ptrs and their leg when flying off it was just like satisfactory and uh you know throw that all that in i want to see some gore i'm tired of modern warfare 2 where if you shoot somebody they do a freaking backflip and nothing happens and uh yeah so now dislikes dislikes uh so probably the biggest dislike of all is gonna be the quick scoping problem that everybody's shitting about shitting well that everybody's basically pissed about like Oh my god, man. So tired. I'm probably gonna take a nap after this commentary, but, huh. Yeah, the quick scoping issue that everybody's bitching about. Like, uh, there's gonna be no quick scoping. This John, whatever the hell his name is, uh, Josh Olin. Is, like, now you can't quick scope. You know, they, they haven't really. People are replying to him, like, F you. Bring quick scoping back. He hasn't said anything, so. I don't know what's up, but but I'll just wait for the game to come out. We'll see. And uh, yeah, so I'm I'm kind of disappointed. If they do remove quick scoping, your commentary specialist himself will be back, P Juice. And uh, let's see. So the other thing I dislike are some of the perks they put in. For example, um, the I believe there is a perk that increases explosive damage again, which is gay. There is also a perk called, oh, what is it? I think it's Second Chance, which is basically Last Stand, where you last long in Last Stand, and there's revives, which is actually a really hated by snipers, because basically, you shoot them, they're behind cover, they go down in the Last Stand, you don't exactly know where to wall bang them. Then, uh, it, say, I've seen this happen millions of times, but... Uh, two faggots decide to camp in the same building, and uh, while one faggot goes down, the other faggot revives him. It always happens that way. But uh, this game's wrapping up now, so leave your comments. My main two dislikes of Black Ops are looking like quick scoping issue and the last stand issue, but nonetheless, this game's about to wrap up. So peace, people. This has been P Juice. I hope you enjoy my commentary. And bye.